Hello everyone, so today I want to talk to you about what I plan on eating and what I already started my day with. So I woke up around two and a half hours ago and I started chopping a lot of wood. I got lots of wood, brought it down to the house and what I did first thing was I simply had a liquid. So for the first two and a half hours so far today I've had a liquid and what I consisted of was cle cleaver's tea and gynostemma tea which I infused overnight. Um, I infused at night time and it's like uh, it sat overnight so I had that but that's the liquid part but the main thing I was actually really having was the Dr. Christopher's um, Health Force Nutritionals cleansing powder I'll leave a link below unfortunately I don't sell this on my website I actually meant to contact them so I could but I don't but anyway even though I don't sell it, I want to recommend it it's um, a GI tract drawing and cleansing and soothing formula the reason why I'm taking this is because in the first 24 or even the first 30 years of my life I've been eating a lot of non-organic cooked foods and especially from 40 age 20 loads of like rubbish so like factory farmed meat and dairy and all this stuff over time creates layers and layers and layers and layers of congested sticky waste material toxins chemicals and pollutants and it's not just from the food it's from the water I drank I drank city water and I also lived in dirty air in the, in the suburbs okay so basically speaking, none of us can avoid it to, to different degrees, but you want to have it. The stronger and the cleaner your body is, the more your body will naturally eliminate through your lungs. Huge eliminating organ, our number one. And then our skin, which is our biggest eliminating organ. But most people have lymphatic and, and poor congestion on and under our skin. So we don't eliminate all these toxins properly. So when your health goes down, your vitality is low, adrenal weakness, which so many people have, inherited and collected by living we our elimination organs become fucked up this is terrible because it means we we're accumulating more and more toxins and waste and congesting blocking rubbish and waste in our body this is disastrous for our overall health and vitality and well-being so lately i've been in the last week I, this is probably day seven or eight now i'm not really keeping too track because i'm not I don't even care about like the label or the numbers. I'm just I care about how I feel. So most of the time, in the last week, I've been basically 99% raw. I've had a few things like small things, easy to digest, super easy and small, like a few tablespoons or teaspoons of stuff, tablespoons of like some cooked foods, like super easy to digest anyway. But um, such as a soup, for example, vegan soup. But um. I, so today I took this cleansing powder which I've been taking for the last like many 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 months now like I really recommend taking a GI tract black cleansing powder so I took that with a you, you can take it with water I can take it with juice but today for the first time I decided to take it with a cleansing lymphatic tea which is cleavers so I did that and then I did loads of exercise I did some cycling I, I swept the floor I chopped wood I was I did work on the computer I'm productive and I still have loads of good energy now but the thing is the more this is at the beginning if I had taken this like maybe like nine months ago I would have felt tired because I didn't have the power and the cleanliness on, already in me so also if, I, if this is my first day of raw food I probably wouldn't have the power either but in the last week I've been cleansing and strengthening my body with like raw foods like some days 100%, other days 99%, some days 98%. But basically speaking, like I said in another video, I'm totally listening to my body and absolutely 100% not overeating in the slightest bit, which saves a colossal amount of energy. So I just have like loads of energy. I've lost maybe a pound or two, maybe. Like I'm sticking basically at my, my weight and I'm eating way less. <laughs> Overeating is ridiculous, but anyway, I talked about that in another video. So what I plan on eating today is I'm gonna like not go 100% raw because I don't even care about the lab label, as I said. But I feel there's a, a gigantic difference between like 70 to 80% raw and 95 to 99 to 100% raw. If you have like a big a, one meal of cooked, that's like a, that's almost like a disaster for a lot of people's energy levels, and like stopping their really good elimination and cleansing from rubbish in the past so for me i recommend just a few, a few tablespoons max of cooked food a day like just for the taste of the social or the fun or the enjoyment the taste buds but don't go more than that and that's if you want to even do that at all like don't plan on doing it but today yesterday i bought like things like three organic um, packets of like um, dark chocolate vegan um, peanut butter 
in the center with dark chocolate. But the thing is, I don't really care about that too much because I have so little of it, but I don't plan on buying any more because I want to get off chocolate, really, to be honest. It's like a stimulant to a degree and it's too sticky. And a bit of raw chocolate sometimes, I don't really care. Like, I'm not a fanatic, but it's all about how I feel and I want to feel brilliant. So if it does make me feel either very good or brilliant, I'm not going to do it. So, like, a teaspoonful of, like, <laughs> one molecule of potato is not going to make any difference in your raw food diet. You don't have to be a label or identified or attached to your label, guys. It's not about that. And when I do become breatharian, which is like activating your subtle energy centers, your birthright to be alive without needing dense, heavy energy, which is like coal. Breatharian is like you run on solar power, wind energy, emo positive emotions, breathing, pranic chi energy, solar energy, you know? It's like burning coal is like eating food. But when I do activate my energy centers, I'm definitely going to study food whenever I want. But it's not about, it's, it's from needing to want things. You don't need it, but you want it. And you enjoy it. And it's within a sense of balance and healthiness and har harmony, and you can still flourish. And if you happen to not have any food, big deal, whatever, you still got constant good energy. But anyway, I'm not going to do that for a few years because I'm just enjoying food too much. I don't feel like I want to spend $1,300 on doing the 10-day process right now. But I will do it pretty soon anyway. Maybe next, like, one, two, three, four, five years. Probably three or four. Maybe two. So apart from the piece of chocolate, I'm basically going to go to rest uh, some very light eating consisting of maybe a salad. Today it's, it's pretty easy to digest salad when I'm hungry too, by the way, and I'm not going to stuff myself. I'm going to have lots of energy after the salad. I'm probably not even going to feel, I'm probably going to almost feel like hungry almost like yesterday. So I ate like dates and walnuts after my salad yesterday. But today I might just go more on the fruits. I want to like kick it up a level soon to go more on the juiciness and the simplicity. Because in the salad I add in like a bit of like sea salt and organic herb powder and then some apple cider vinegar and uh, uh, a bit of tamari I had. You know, like it's still really easy to digest. But I think the simplest, lowest ingredient level in your food, the more your body can focus on saving energy and then cleansing. Because I monitor my pee every day, and I can see, you know, certain things affect it. And uh, <laughs> probably like having sex or ejaculating like affects it quite a lot. As does eating. Eating is the worst. Eating is the worst. Like eating rubbish and too much and sticky and all this stuff. So anyway, I plan eating brilliant today. Um, today is day seven or eight, and I highly encourage you to step up your diet. Like you're gonna feel way better. Like check out my last video. I'll put a link here. Annotation. Just click here, and it'll open up a new tab for you. And it's really important. So I'm gonna go cycling now. My partner and we're gonna. She's gonna run with the dog, and I'm gonna cycle. And it's gonna be fun. So I've got way more energy and feeling way better. I'm just. Every, I woke up when it's dark today. You usually don't wake up when it's dark. I just woke up dark, 100% ready to do stuff. Then I even took cleansing powder, and in the past, cleansing powder would make me feel tired. Like I, I bought a present of one, a different cleansing powder to my to the landlord person I'm staying at, visiting here in Canada. He says when he takes it, he feels like I'm like tired from it a bit. And I, I know what that's like, because I did in the past. When you got a lot of rubbish in you, congestion, hardened mucoid plaque, and all that stuff, you just feel tired when you try and cleanse. But the stronger you are, you're able to water fast and juice and eat raw foods without symptoms. So I've seen this in so many people, guys. I've been a health investigator and researcher and practitioner, experimenter for so many years now, 10 years, because I was so sick and unwell in the past. And I've learned about human health a lot. And what's capable and what's normal and what's healthy and what's real and what's good and bad. So, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting. Please like and share. Uh, this video please I'd really appreciate it like you've watched the video I ask of you to share it and give it a like to support the channel and the message um, grounded spirituality and healthy living my intention my passionate desire is to help you have a better life and to help the planet's consciousness and to raise to the next level you know because we've done rubbish on the planet in the past all the bad stuff you know I don't want that I want a better planet better life for everybody and myself so don't tolerate what you don't desire, guys. Don't put up with rubbish that's bad for you in any area of your life, relationships, where you live, job. Be creative and get another solution. 
lots of love everyone thanks for everything anyway so i hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe like share and comment if you feel like the comment and i look forward to talk to you next day next time okay so, see another video coming very soon now bye have a nice, nice day i hope you flourish and we all have a beautiful happy time together in life with the family and people and we all connect to the heart human level and we all love each other yeah